Say hello to Big Bill, the original Pigzilla. His weight transformed from 200 to a massive 2,553 pounds, with a height of 5 feet and a length of 9 feet, meaning that he was larger than your typical domestic pig, and was also two times heavier than an average Angus cattle. At the time of his life, people previously and traditionally named him as the largest pig on record. Until a hippo-sized porker named Rumba dethroned him, he got to a very large size because he just couldn't stop eating, which led to him being very fat and chubby. His siblings were brutally killed by their and his mother rolling over on them, which then made Big Bill a single child. But then in 1933, he met the unluckiest death of all time after he broke his leg. Instead of putting a bandage around his leg, an unforgiving A.J. Wells decided to mount Big Bill, and then turned the one-ton pork chop into a real-life statue. Wells put the hog to sleep by pouring a deadly amount of chloroform, so that Big Bill could go to bloody hell, which resulted to the most unforgivable, underserved, unfair and unluckiest death ever. You may think this shark looks like a giant swimming doom machine, but for real it's just a friendly shark. The basking shark. After the whale shark, it is the second largest living fish. There have been individuals reaching 50 feet long and weighing 16 metric tons or 18 tons. That's more than 20 cows. Wow. But since those individuals were hunted to death, they usually reached just 26 feet long with 5 tons in weight. It got its name from it appearing to be soaking up the sun's warmth. It is iconic for its open mouth that led to the YouTube shark hog meme and the song I'd Rather Sleep by Kuru Kuru Bonito. It keeps that mouth open to swallow some animals. <laughs> It's its open mouth that makes you think it looks like some doom machine. But when the shark closes its mouth shut, it looks like this. Trust me, when I saw it for the first time, I got hypnotized. African elephants are the world's largest living land animal with a bull standing 8 to 11.6 feet tall and weighing 4 to 9 tons, approximately 3 to 8 metric tons, and a cow standing 6.9 to 9.8 feet tall and weighing 3 to 7 tons approximately two to six metric tons but there were bigger bulls one giant was shot in 1956 he was 13 feet tall at the shoulder and weighed a whopping 14 tons or 12 metric tons it was one of if not the largest animal to ever be shot and it was such an impressive trophy he was also put as a museum pleaser the tallest bull stood nearly 16 feet tall and weighed nine tons over eight metric tons the largest tusks expanded 144 inches in stretching length. An elephant with these huge teeth is actually entitled a tusker. This is the world's saddest animal, and it cannot even erase that signature frown off its freaking face. Say hello to the blobfish, the slimy fish of sadness. <sighs> Uh-oh. The reason why these depressed fishies look so ugly is because they were pulled 30 hundred feet out of the water way too quickly. Man, I look so different back then. This makes their bodies to expand, their skin to loosen and cause severe tissue damage. They then become fish jelly because of no bones and no muscles. And that's why it was crowned as Earth's ugliest animal in 2013. Which then led to some freaking funny memes on freaking YouTube. It alternates from a sad looking puffer fish into a freaking melted version of freaking Jabba the freaking hut. It looked so gosh darn cute in the water. But when you pull it 30 hundred feet out of the Australian waters that it belongs to, it becomes a gelatinous piece of shit that wouldn't turn its signature frown upside down. I'm just sad today. Sad? Wait, you're bubbly! It's in the name! Be happy! Be happy now! This creature that looks like a strange creature that came straight out of Star Wars will make people go. Huh, never heard of it. This is a taper, the mini elephant horse. It is a large semi-aquatic hoofed mammal. Four kinds of these are known. The Mountain Taper, the Brazilian Taper, Baird's Taper, and the Malayan Taper, with an unknown but possible fifth. Size ranges from 200 to almost 1000 pounds. While being from 5 to 8 feet long and being 2 to 5 feet tall, the star of this show is the prehensile nose, named a trunk or proboscis, necessary for ripping leaves off of trees. It also has a tongue, long enough to lick its trunk's nostrils. Pick Buttercup's nose! Please don't. Ew. It looks a bit like a pig, but previously they were known to be part of the hippopotamus genus, along with hippopotamus amphibious. Awkward. But they're only related to horses, rhinos, and one of the biggest 
land mammals ever. In Dracotherium. Everyone knows that elephants are the world's largest land animal. But did you know that every giant African elephant bull is awarded as the largest living terrestrial animal? Usually, a bull towers more than 11 feet off the ground and weigh from 6 to 9 tons. 5 to 8 metric tons. But bigger bulls stood 13 feet tall and broke weight scales by surpassing 11 tons. 10 metric tons. The heaviest was shot in Angola on 1956, and was said to stand 13 feet tall and weigh almost 16 tons 14 metric tons. It then became one of the most famous museum pleasers. But the tallest was almost 16 feet high and weighed 9 tons, 8 metric tons. These guys are big bulking animals. Their ear flaps can grow 6 feet long and 5 feet wide. And their tusks, or tushes, can exceed 30 inches long. But the longest were almost 144 inches long. Giant bull elephants with big tusks are called tuskers. Not just that, but their trunk is the longest animal nose, stretching 7 feet long and weighing almost 330 pounds. The giant eland is known as the world's largest living antelope. It has a similar height, length, and weight to a small compact car. Giant elands are very bulky animals. It has many nicknames like the Lord Derpy's eland and the Greater eland. But back then, there were so much more. It was originally thought to belong to the genus Bos elaphus. The same genus that includes the Nilgai, or the Blue Bull. During that time, it was nicknamed the Black-Necked Elan to describe its signature black neck. It was then moved to a more traditional scientific name, part of the genus Tragilaphus, which also includes some of the largest antelopes living right now, the Greater Kudu and the Bongo, and also relates to the Goat Stag. But now it's placed into the genus Tordragus, which also includes the Eland antelope, formerly named... Antilope Aureas. This is the sloth bear, the real life balloon. These sweeties stand three feet tall and weigh 320 pounds. They look like a hybrid of a giant dog and a black bear. Even though they look cute upon first sight and like to lick off very sweet honey. They are literally monsters. They got talons similar to an eagle's talons, causing very bad facial injuries and can bite as hard as hyenas. Making them powerful enough to actually kill a tiger. Isn't that very scary? Ah! Even grizzlies and giant polar bears are afraid of this cuddly and playful honey lover. Don't be fooled by their honey loving behavior because this is the most dangerous of all living bears. This is the most bad ass animal. This is a honey badger, also known as the rattle, the honey loving snake eater. It's relatively small, 10 inches tall, 30 inches long, and 35 pounds. But here's the part where this sweetheart says, I don't care. It will not care about porcupine quills covering its entire body. It will forget about a venomous snake's bite, and it will ignore the stinging of an angry bee mob. That's why it's called a honey badger, because it likes to eat honey from a beehive. <laughs> I joke you not, it is actually 10 times more aggressive than a male lion. It will face off a lion by hissing at it and showing off its teeth. And it will escape from a predator's toothy mouth thanks to its loose skin. It will also bite the <coughs> sack off of a predator. Making it Africa's Mr. Goodman. It will also cannibalize on its own species. And it doesn't mind nibbling on a snake or a scorpion. Guinness World Records, in fact, couldn't help but award the honey badger as the most fearless animal. This tiny shrimp punch is 1,000 times stronger than the strongest human punch. This is the peacock mantis shrimp, or the rainbow mantis shrimp. Okay, this is for the summertime girls. 
even though it is seven inches long, it reminds me of some alien from a Star Wars movie. I am the father. No! It is also good for someone to eat. But there's a dark side of the mantis shrimp. It actually has the strongest punch out of any animal living right now. Powerful enough to break through glass. But there is something cool about the mantis shrimp. It cleans its own eyes. When I saw it for the first time, I was like... <clears throat> but some people find it very disturbing. Oh, that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen! You almost got it. Stop doing yeah. that. Stop doing that! Fingers away from the eyeballs! Enough! Ow! If there's one caution sign I would like to say about the mantis shrimp is... Please don't mess with this shrimp because... It has a punch one million times its own body weight. 